ऑल राइट सब अपना कैमरा ऑन कर लो ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल प्लीज स्विच ऑन योर कैमराज गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो हैव यू ऑल कंप्लीटेड द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन विच हैव शेयर्ड दे वो जस्ट अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन ओके ग्रेट वेरी गुड वैभव वॉट अबाउट अदर्स येस नो मे बी हाफ डन ओके आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल टू प्लीज रिप्लाई इन द चार्ट बॉक्स टू लेफ्ट ओके कशिश डन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अदर्स ऑल राइट ओके सो आई एल बी जस्ट गोइंग थ्रू द इंटायर क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव गिवन यू ऑल सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल इट्स जस्ट अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ वॉट वी हैव डन इन पास्ट फ्यू क्लासेज जस्ट दैट आई हैव नॉट गिवन एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन ग्राफ्स राइट अदर देन दैट आई हैव ऑलमोस्ट कवर्ड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव डन सो इट वॉज अ गुड रिविजन फॉर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल राइट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट यू ऑल कैन आस्क योर डाउट्स इफ यू ऑल फेस्ड एनी डाउट्स और इफ यू ऑल मेड योर ओन डिफरेंट फंक्शन आई हैव शेयर द सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो विथ यू ऑल आई होप यू हैव इन सीन द सोल्यूशन एंड डन इट फर्स्ट ट्राई इट ऑन योर ओन एंड देन यू कैन रेफर टू द सोल्यूशन ऑल राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट असाइनमेंट फिल द टोटल कॉलम सो यू कैन जस्ट फिल द टोटल कॉलम यूनिट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई यूनिट कॉस्ट राइट काउंट द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स वे सेल्स वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव हंड्रेड सो वील यूज if function and we can see that where all the values are greater than 500 right so i will just quickly do that firstly we can find out units multiplied by unit cost this will give us a total column right this will give us the total column and then we need to find out whether the units are greater than 500 so we can write total oh uh, it asks for the count the number of sales count the number of sales whether you whether sales value is greater than 500 which function we we'll use in the chat box count the number of sales where very good count function very good count if count if we we'll use so we have written answer 2 over here count if range will be the total column total sales column and criteria will be how should we mention the criteria quickly in the chat box how should we mention the criteria just greater than 50 or 500 very good very good so it says greater than 500 so we will not write greater than equal to we can just simply write greater than it does not say greater than equal to and it should be within the quotes it should be within the quotes very good close the bracket hit enter and we get the answer as 14 all of you all got the answer as 14 right got the answer as 14 great the next question is create a column with the sales value of item pencil and then find the total sales so first we need to find first we need to create a column with the sales value of item pencil so basically here we have the total sales we want to create a column which will only contain the sales value of item pencil and then we will calculate the total of the column right right so i can write total sales of pencil total sales of pencil right total sales of pencil and this i want the uh, formatting to be same so i'll be using conditional formatting right i can again use wrap text okay total sales total sales in bracket you can write pencil what function should we use 
is this confuse, confusing to any one of you is it fine if function very good so i'll be using if function i'll be using if function that if the total if what if the item is equal to pencil if the item is equal to pencil then g2 otherwise blank and one more thing the pencil should be within quotes because it's a text string clear i want to create a column sales column where the sales figure will only be that of item pencil right right and this is the if function yes maruf we can use a uh, sum if but here it says has to create a column so we'll be using this only otherwise you can use sum if also very good very good we can use sum if also so we'll get all the sales of item pencil right and uh, i haven't created a cell over here for answer 3 so we can just you know select this and click on insert see select these two cells select these two cells select these two cells click on insert and it inserts one okay right here we can write answer 3 answer 3 so we will now just take the sum of this entire column and we'll get the sum of total sales of pencil this is the total sales of pencil or if i would have asked you to done, do it in one go you could have used sum if so what should be my sum range totals column criteria range items and criteria will be pencil clear clear very good next question if you all have any doubts in between please raise your hand unmute yourself you all can ask the doubt all right all right okay so next thing we have find the find the sum of sales value of pencils with units sold greater than 50 so now it does not ask uh, ask us to create a new column it just straight away ask us to get the sum of sales value of pencils of units greater than 50 so what uh, so here we can use which function sum ifs what are the two conditions the first condition is i units should be greater than uh, 50 and item should be equal to pencil right so i'll be using sum ifs what should be my sum range total column total column comma what should be my criteria range what should be my criteria range criteria range item item is pencil within the quotes just see the formula bar just see the formula bar just see the formula bar then the next you the next criteria range is units and this should be again within the quotes greater than 50 is it greater than equal to or just greater than greater than close the bracket and you will get the you will get the answer 1690 this is the answer everyone is getting right this is the answer everyone is getting great next question next question find the minimum and maximum value sales value of sales also find the corresponding rep names so it asks us to find out the minimum and maximum value of the sales so we can use the min max function 
and then the corresponding rep names who have made the minimum and maximum sales clear so first let us find out the minimum and maximum using min function using using min function minimum of the entire total sales column minimum of the entire total sales column and similarly we will find out the maximum of the total sales column right minimum and maximum so these are the answers for minimum and maximum now how do we find out the corresponding rep names who have made the minimum and the maximum sales hmm? very good webhav is saying we can do that using index match now i'll show you two methods okay one is index match the other method is also a method which is not widely used but some some people use the, these methods okay so one method just see to this very carefully you might use it somewhere or the other uh one method that we'll be using is here i am writing minimum sales okay so we know the minimum sales amount is 9.03 right we know the amount is 9.03 so what i'll do is i will use an if function that if the sales value is equal to this minimum value you can make this absolute you can make this fixed if the sales value is equal to the minimum sales if the sales value is equal to the minimum sales then i want the rep name otherwise i want to keep it as blank right so in the entire column where the sales value is 9.02 9.03 you will get the corresponding rep name bhuvan joshi is sleeping in the class very good very good gil okay the answer is gil similarly you can do it for max sales similarly you can do it for max sales right if if the total sales is equal to the maximum sales make sure you keep this as absolute otherwise you'll not get the answer then we want the rep name or we want to keep it as blank so one thing we have done is we have extracted the names over here gil and jardine but we want to extract this value over here right we want to extract this value over here so how to do that how to do that how to extract the value you can either just write equal to sign and select this cell it will give you the answer as gil you can do this you can type down gil which is not very good habit of doing uh, we never you know manually type anything so that is one thing the next thing is you can simply use a max function over here but max function um will ignore all the text values right so we will use something called as max a this does not excludes text or logical strings this is something which i haven't taught you earlier we can use max a and select the entire column close the bracket hit enter and we get the answer as uh wait i'll tell you why we are getting zero over here mm, okay we should not use max a in such a case then min a no let's just forget about this we'll not be using this so we have got gill and jardine right we've got gill and jardine so this is how this is one way of doing it the other way which webhav has mentioned is index match which is the best way of doing what you can do what is the formula which we can use firstly we want the output from which column rep names so i'll be writing index 
So in the array, I'll be selecting just the rep names because we just want the output from the rep names. No point in selecting the entire table, right? We can select the entire table also, but no point because we want the answer from the rep names column only. So I'll be selecting, I'll be selecting it from here or from here, depending. Make sure from wherever you select, you do the same in case of the match function. So I'm selecting it from the second row till the very down. You can also make this as absolute. So F and F4 and you can make this as absolute. This is the array. This is the column from which I want the output. What should be the row number? What should be the row number? The row number will be where the total amount is this 9.03. Where the total amount is 9.03. That should be the row number, right? So I'll be using which function? Match function. Match, what is the lookup value? My lookup value is this cell M9, 9.03. 9.03, correct? Comma, what is the lookup array? Total column. And make sure you are selecting it from here only. Not here. You have to select it from here because in case of rep names, I have selected from the second row. So this should be same. You can again keep this as absolute F and F4, comma, exact match, close the bracket. All of you have forgotten index match function, right? All of you have forgotten index match. Very good. So firstly, we need to take out the cell value from which column? Rep. So from in the, in the index function, I've written rep names. Then which column do I want to select? Column with the minimum, uh, row with the minimum sales value. So I'll be selecting this total column. The lookup value is the minimum value, which we've got, right? So there are two brackets, hit enter, and you will get the answer as gil. Same thing needs to be done for maximum. Just this lookup value will change. I have made all of these things absolute. I will drag this in and you'll get the answer as chart time. Yes, Maroof. Good morning. No, no. See, the column number is in first, is in third brackets, right? So whatever is in third bracket is not necessary. So you can skip column number, but you cannot skip the row number. So row number can either be zero or you can leave it blank also. Doesn't matter. Right? Kind of, but it can also be used to extract values from the column. Because see, we, uh, when we input any data, it is always row wise, right? So generally, we want to extract values from the rows only, not from the columns. But sometimes when we want to extract from the columns, we use column. And uh, we have done it in our class also, where if you all remember, uh, we took that country uh, code, uh, birth rate, and uh, inter right so we have done that in class right and i've also given in the practice sheet two i've given you index match question so is it fine how we have done index match is a very important function you all should not forget these see max min sum these are the functions which are very simple basic everyone will remember but the real test is if you remember v lookup if you remember index match if you remember frequency if you remember offset these different functions which are not vlookup is generally used a lot these functions which are not a lot uh, not used a lot you should remember these functions that is how you will remember you will actually know excel just knowing some function min max count this does not mean that you know excel right you should know all these different functions which are there so make sure if you are facing any problems in these functions you practice a lot See, you will not get it right on your first day. No one will get right, especially index match. It comes in advanced Excel. Okay, it's a part of advanced Excel. Index match function is a part of advanced Excel. So you will not get it right on day one. No one will get right it on day one. Even I, when I, I started practicing Excel, it took me one or two months to get index match right without seeing, without, you know, 
just just doing it on your own so it takes time you have to give time to it you have to practice right and these are the things if moving ahead when we are doing questions we are practicing different questions we are or maybe in uh, you know we are pra uh, solving a certain excel spreadsheet if you are getting stuck at these places just because of these functions that's the least thing which you can do right so all right so we have the answers we have the answers and you should know where we have to make what cells absolute what cells should be fixed see if i am not fixing the, these i will still get the answer but how is it helping me is that i can just simply drag this down because in case of this the the columns are same right if i if i haven't fixed this entire thing and i just drag this down this c2 will change to c3 c44 will change to c45 which is wrong although m9 needs to be changed to m10 so i'm not making this this fixed so this will come with time so every day if you're sitting down practicing excel for one hour this will come with time what things needs to be fixed right which function should we use all these things will come with time it will not you'll just see one video you'll just attend one class and you cannot do that you have to practice for that right to be very efficient when i am doing it you cannot compare yourself with me because obviously i'm doing excel since many years no right so this is maybe your second third day when you have actually opened excel and started actually working with it not just some function or these basic functions so it will take time gradually you will learn what all things should i keep fixed and from day one if your attitude is to work smartly then you will get smart at excel otherwise you will be that you know uh, a child not be using any shortcuts don't be so rigid work smartly with excel and anywhere you go you will definitely be using excel in your life i don't think there is anyone especially in the finance or maybe anywhere who is not using excel right okay so we have the answers using index match great now let's move to the next uh, yes ma'am there was a question that you have to find the answers before and try to see them using the excel spreadsheet so we can do that but i haven't taught you all it's not there so we can do that right okay <clears throat> uh right so next now we can move to uh, the next question next practice assignment so here we have using v lookup find the birth rates and internet users corresponding to the given country codes in sheet 3 so this is my sheet 3 basically i have given you country codes i want you all to find the corresponding birth rate and internet users which is again very simple J let, let's just quickly do it uh, so we'll be writing v lookup what should be my lookup value what should be my lookup value country code alb should i make this fix no because i want to drag this down and want to change the country code right good webhub next we have the table array so i will go to the practice sheet 2 here i will be selecting the entire here i will be selecting the entire table right i'll be selecting the entire table uh, okay i'll be selecting the entire table right should we make it as fixed correct we will select from the country code why because the lookup value should be on the leftmost the lookup value will be on the leftmost very good so i will select this entire thing i don't know why my control key is not working right now so i'll have to drag this down okay and should we make this as absolute yes because we have to drag the formula down and the table should remain constant so i'll make this as absolute fn f4 right comma the next thing is the column index number the column from which i want to extract the value what should be the column birth rate column number 2 because i have selected it from here i have selected the table from here right i have selected the table from here so the column index number should be 2 right right and range lookup will be false or 
true uh zero close the bracket hit enter and we have the answers now we can just simply double click and drag the thing down also just just look at just look at over here one thing which i can make absolute over here in case of a2 is the column is the column i will make the column name as absolute i will make the column name as absolute fixed right right and then you can drag this down and then you can drag this down why i am doing this why i am doing this because if i drag the cursor to the right if i drag the cursor to the right see okay one second why is this not getting fixed i think there is an issue with my keypad all right now it's fine okay so now i just have to change see a2 remains a2 why because i have made the column fixed right and then i will just change this to to 3 this has to be done manually or if if you don't want to do this manually you can write a 2 and 3 on top of these uh cells you can insert one column and you can do that but that much manual things are fine so i'm getting the answer for my internet users fine done done no problem here all right the second question is use index match function to find the birth rate and internet users for given country codes and create a drop down list and create a drop down list so here they want us to create a drop down list for the country codes so basically i'll be creating a drop down list for all these country codes over here how do we how do we do that data data validation data validation very good and then i'll be using list i'll be selecting values from here and okay so this will give me the drop down list now i'll be using index match so i'll be just doing it for okay now for rates here also i want to create a drop down list right here also i want to create a drop down list so i will quickly create a drop down list over here as well okay so it has created a drop down list so for the country code given country code i want the given rate maybe birth rate or internet users so i'll be using index now you all will be guiding me how to use the index match function over here what should be the array which i should select quickly very good table from sheet 2 the entire table the entire table the i don't know why my control key is not working the entire table right the entire table make this as absolute make this as absolute comma row number what should be my row number how to find out the row number match function what should be my lookup value in sheet 2 this should be my lookup value this is the row number right so we can get the row number using the country code only very good comma what should be my lookup array country code oh. country code country code right comma exact match close the bracket the next is a column number so column number can be birth rate and internet users so i'll be writing match again the lookup value will be birth rates comma lookup array will be first row so either it will be 2 or 3 make it absolute comma 
exact match close the bracket close the bracket and you get the answer ESP birth rate let's change it to internet users let's change this to India see right done we have done it in class we've done the same thing in class I have given you all to practice it again okay anything else here fine okay okay so the next thing next question sort the data according to the income group so we have done this in our previous class right I am not doing this again I hope you all can do this now and actually the solution is already sorted in on the basis of income group right so you have to create a custom sort list and you have to maybe if you're going from high income upper middle lower middle low income or low lower upper high you can go that way also clear next Format the cell, uh, cells which contains the highest and the lowest birth rate and internet users. Red should be highest, green should be lowest. So here the birth rate, we have done this in the previous class only. Select the entire column, select the entire column and then using conditional formatting, you can select the top bottom cell rules, highlight cell rules and equal to top bottom, top one and bottom one right we can do this top should be red bottom should be green we have done the exact same thing any any doubt in this particular place any doubt no all right so now we can move to our practice sheet 3 again very important so this suggests this tells us to find the units of quantity so we have price we have quantity we have variable cost variable cost is price 10% of the price then we have the fixed cost which is given to us 3 lakhs or is it 3 millions 30 lakhs then we have total revenue total revenue is your price multiplied by quantity then we have total cost which is variable cost Achha, variable cost is cost per unit variable cost is a cost which changes which no, with number of units you produce right so variable uh, total cost is variable cost multiplied by units plus the fixed cost correct 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 that is how I've got the total cost and then we have the final profit and loss so let me do one thing let me give a border over here so that you all understand the difference uh, all right so this is the profit and loss which is total revenue minus the total cost so my question says find the number of units find this number of units now currently I am selling 100 units what should be the number of units I should sell so that there is a break even what is a break even no profit no loss so I have given that is the profit and loss should be zero so with what should I do goal seek goal seek function very good this should be set to zero by changing quantity sold very good so I'll in the data tab what if analysis we have goal seek setting the cell to zero by changing quantity right okay and this changes the number of units now here one thing the units for example cannot be in fractions then we can change this to maybe 186 right or maybe 185 right that will depend on the question yes Maroof the things which we haven't covered in class let's not talk about that okay All right. So uh, <clears throat> yes, it's possible using that, but let's not talk about it. Uh, that's not included over here. All right. So here, goal seek is fine to everyone. Goal seek is fine to everyone, right? 
great now let last let's move everyone getting the answer great let's move to practice 4 here again it's very very simple the first question find the number of reps who sold the units between 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 and so on so here we have the units i've written the units for you all i just want the number of reps who have sold the number of units between 0 to 10 10 to 20 and so on so what function we'll be using frequency function how to use frequency function first select all the cells where you want the output in the formula bar i'll be writing in the formula bar i'll be writing frequency data array will be oh webhav is saying count if yes we can use count if as well i will show you all how to do count if but let's try it with frequency this will give me the answer at once or we can use the count if function as well i'll show you how to do that as well so here frequency data array will be data array will be number of units number of units so i will select the entire column make it absolute right make it absolute this will not change the number of units will remain same so you have to keep it as absolute comma bins array bins array bins array will be units again keep it as absolute don't forget to keep it as absolute close the bracket and then control shift enter control shift enter and we have the answer bins array is basically the x column uh you you used to make this x and fx columns so bins array is that x column right 10 15 and so on so here so here uh just use alt equal to and get the oh wait get the answer of so there are 43 in total reps just try it down those who haven't done it using count if can do it using count if as well someone had doubt in the sheet 4 uh someone mentioned earlier Who was it? Doubt in sheet four. Doubt in sheet four. Hmm. Web of. Okay. Hmm. Cell must contain a value because have you made any changes here, Maruf? Cell must contain a value is an error which you get which we were discussing last class. If your cells are not properly linked, so just check. your variable cost should be price multiple your uh, fixed your total revenue total revenue must contain units multiplied by price your total cost must contain the variable cost multiplied by units plus the fixed cost and the profit just check whether your cells contain uh, these values maybe you have made some changes you have done it manually just check this cell must contain a value is the most common error which you will get in goal seek and that is what we were discussing in the class when we were doing goal seek i showed you all how if we remove the uh, cell the input cell from the output cell we'll never get the answer right so once try it down and all of you those who have done it using frequency please try it down using count if function i'll give you 2 minutes time All right. All right. So, um, one second. Okay. Tell me. Is it fine now? frequency web hub i am not able to use frequency function why why you have to select all the cells first then in the formula bar you have to type frequency select the data table 
what is the error what is the error that you are getting what is the error hmm just you can unmute yourself select for hmm because because you are writing the frequency function over here see first select all the cells then in the formula bar you have to type the frequency function no, I'm using the formula bar. again just write down with me just try it with me select the cells in the formula bar and you are not at the end are you just clicking on enter or are you pressing control shift enter you have to press control shift enter just the end okay okay it should be control shift enter not just enter right okay so now uh, using count if also we can do just that it will become a little tedious so we have to say that count if we'll count the units and we and we can use count ifs the number should be greater than 0 and less than 10 greater than 20 less than 10 and so on so i'll show you all see we'll start it from here we'll start it from here um we'll start it from here we can write count ifs the criteria range is the units is the units column again keep it as absolute comma comma the criteria should be that it is greater than equal to zero select this cell close the bracket comma criteria range 2 should again be the same units make it as absolute comma The criteria should be it should be less than equal to ten. Close the bracket in quotes, and you will get the answer. Uh, greater than equal to why are we getting zero yeah it should be a2 one second oh all right one second see greater than equal to i will just select this cell I will not put it within the quotes and let me try. Mm. Hmm. Actually, here we'll use and function. Hmm. This is how you used to do this. So within the quotes, I will write less than equal to and then and. 10 because we are, no, we are not manually writing 0 and 10 we are selecting the cells we are not manually writing um, my camera is off right one second okay so we are not manually writing uh, this 0 and 10 we are selecting the cells 0 and 10 right right Oh, yeah, web, of, correct, web, correct. <clears throat> so, we'll have to, web have as mentioned in the chat box, very good. So, we'll put it within the quotes and A2. Okay. This is ampersand, basically. We have done this ampersand, remember? Text function. So, what it will do is greater than equal to zero paste it with zero so here i can just drag this down and get the same answer actually not exactly same because we'll have to use just greater than not greater than equal to at one place you'll have to remove this equal to sign 
at one place you'll have to remove this equal to sign then only you will get the answer so i have removed greater than 0 less than equal to 10 otherwise if a value is 10 maybe so it will be counted twice it will be counted two times if any value in the units column is suppose 10 so it will be counted here as well less than equal to 10 and here greater than equal to 10 so it will be counted twice that is why we were not getting the correct answer so you just have to remove equal to either from here or from here anyway correct count ifs is fine with everyone count ifs is fine with everyone right all right so the next thing the next thing is find the region in which every third sale was made so here I want in every what is the region in which every third sale so here the third sale was made in central then east then again we have um, east then again we have west then again we have east and so on so this is the answer so we will be using offset function very good so here I can just simply write 3 6 9 and so on just see what I have done 3, 6, 9, there are two ways of doing. This is one way and I can just drag this down. And we have 43 rows, right? So what should be my last one? 42, 42, because there are 43 rows in total. And I'll be using offset function. For reference, this is my region, is my starting cell. I will keep this as absolute comma how many rows do you want to go down this and how many rows zero so I'll be just writing zero central we have east west and so on clear see again this is known as autofill so you have written three you have written six you have written nine and then just select these three cells together and just drag this down so it will follow the trend 33333 this is known as autofill this is known as autofill or what else you could have done just see or what else you could have done instead of 36 I could have written 1 2 and so on again just select these two and drag this down right and then I could have just simply again used offset For my reference, I'll be using this as my reference, keeping it as fixed, comma. Then I don't want to go one cell down. I want to go three cells down. So one multiplied by three. And when I drag this down, uh, all right, comma zero. And when I drag this down, it will automatically multiply it by three into two, three into 3, 3 into 4 and so on. I'll get the same answer. There are two ways of doing it. Right? There are two ways of doing it. Is it fine with everyone? Is it fine with everyone? Now another thing, another thing about, is it fine? First just let me know all the questions are fine then I will teach you one more thing. All the questions are fine, right? All the questions are fine? Okay. So next thing last thing let's talk about autofill since we've already talking about it so what is autofill basically see if I'm writing for example January February March just the first three just the first three uh, letters I will select these three cells and drag and drag this down from here this is known as autofill option just drag this down and you will automatically get all the months Similarly, for all the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on, just select these three and you get all the days. Similarly, if I am writing 1, 2, 3, select and drag this down. If you want to give it in full, suppose January, February, see automatically, did you all see? This is known as list, custom list which are already inbuilt in your Excel right similarly Monday Tuesday you can write it in full as well now another thing about autofill for example for example just look at over here I want to create a column with 10,000 numbers 1 2 3 and I will drag this down 
till 10,000. So will you just keep dragging this down for 10,000? There might be certain shortcut for this, right? There might be certain. So what we'll do is, what we'll do is, maybe I'm writing one over here and then in the home tab, there is an option called autofill. Select this drop down and click on, click on series. Click on series. This will give you a, this will give you a small window. So how do you want to fill the series in the column? It should be linear. The step value is one. What is step value? One, two, three. The difference between the two numbers. If the step value is three, then your answer will be one, four, seven, so on. Right? So step value is the difference. The stop value is the last number which you want to get, which is 10,000. Ten thousand, and you can just click on OK and see you get the answer till ten thousand. You don't have to manually drag this down. You don't have to manually drag this down. So this is your auto fill. Right, auto fill. Home tab, autofill, series and you have to select column wise. If the step value is 3, if the step value is 2, you can just put it accordingly. But make sure your first number is written over here. Obviously, right? You can have my, you can also in the step value, you can also write minus 10, minus 5. Suppose if it is minus 1, then it will be 0, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Right? Is it clear till here to everyone? Any doubts so far? Any doubts so far? Just let me know quickly. Any doubts? No? Alright. Thank you.